What's going on, YouTube? You tapped in with your boy, Big O, watching another episode of UTV, the TV you can feel and see. And before I kick this video off, I just want to ask the audience one simple thing to smash that like button. Why? So this video can get bumped up to the top. So YouTube can recommend this video to new viewers. Why? Because I'm the only one that's spitting this paperwork the way that I am spitting it, y'all. Like I said before, I'm a journalist, not a blogger. So my delivery and approach is way different than everybody else's. Shout out to those that did subscribe to the channel these last couple of days. Y'all going crazy in the comment section. And as y'all can see, I comment back. But we're going to kick this video off by reading this article, y'all. We ain't going to read the whole thing. This article plays a big part in what went down here in court yesterday. Now, first thing we're going to say, rumors surrounding the killing of 17-year-old K.I. Jakira Barnes in 2014 have seemingly been put to bed with the release of unreleased police documents. The teenager was reportedly responsible for killing of more than a dozen people, which was a lie, as a member of the Gangster Disciples in Chicago before being gunned down by a hooded figure. Barnes had a force. No, we ain't going to read that. New information read by. We want to now, as y'all can see here in documents, it reportedly shows that witnesses have named rapper King Vine, who was thought to be a member of Black Disciples, as the alleged shooter. The document reported states an unknown M1, which is male, wearing a gray hoodie and blue jeans approached the victims. The unknown offender then produced a gun and began firing in the direction of the victims, striking all three. The person that told them that was Trench's News, just to let y'all know. The unknown offender then was observed entering a unknown vehicle, making good his ex making good his escape. That's weird wording. In the documents, police also state that in the investigation revealed that the victim was killed by Davon Bennett. Bennett is the real name of King Vine, and the rapper has also been positively identified as the offender. It also states, this is very important, y'all, it also states in the document that there was not enough evidence to charge Vine with the killings, so they were not filed in the end. Okay, now this document date, I want y'all to see the date here, July 15th, 2021. Well, which what 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 was at stake is this, y'all? R.W., which is Raheem Wilton, indicated to the grand jury on March twenty second, two thousand and twenty two. This is when he told the grand jury, y'all, that Vaughn killed Kyra, and it's in the paperwork right here. It says this, R.W. was shot. It says right here, R.W. was present when his sister was shot and killed on April 11, 2014. If we take a brief look and check out the article, that is when K.I. died, 2014, y'all. They're speaking about K.I., of course. Um, let's finish reading. Um, when she was 17 year old. R.W. was also shot in the incident. R.W. did not cooperate with law enforcement in the investigation in two who shot and killed his sister because that was not what his gang wanted him to do. Rather, the gang wanted to retaliate in their own way. So with that being said, Butter told them on March 22nd, the grand jury, which was a year after they basically said they don't have enough evidence to charge Vine with the K.I. murder. A year later, Butter, the only one of the only witnesses eyewitnesses that was a victim also in this crime was able to actually close that case y'all it was a whole year later he told them this so this was their opportunity to get butter in front of that jury to make these same statements so they can then close the ki murder but with butter refusing to say that y'all now they can't close it which being said, to let y'all know, the K.I. murder is a state case. And as y'all can see here, R.W. indicated to the grand jury on March 22nd, 2022, that he has a case pending in the circuit court 
of Cook County for a possession of a gun. That was March 22nd, 2022. Well, just a month later, y'all, if y'all check this out, just a month later, Raheem Wilton, April 29th, 2022, he was in there for another gun, not just another gun, his third gun. In the state of Illinois, your third gun case, ladies and gentlemen, is considered a class X felony. Not a one, not a two, not a three, not a four. A class X, which is armed habitual criminal. That's his third pipe case. In the state of Illinois, a armed habitual holds six to 30 years. Yes, some people can get less than the six, but that will be a result of the prosecution lowering that class X to a UUW, unlawful use of weapon, which holds a three to seven years in jail. Now, if it's aggravated, you can't get it at 50 percent. It'll be at 85 percent. But just to let you guys know, um, that is the only way people get less than six years. On an armed habitual is if they drop the case to a UUW and the only way they drop the case is if. It's weak. And the only way they drop the case is a few days before trial. And most people take that because they don't want to go in there playing with them people, especially in Cook County. But with that being said, just a month later, he catches his third pipe case. Now they're looking at it as though we really got him by the nuts. And that is why if y'all catch my um, later video, if we type this in really quickly, Lil Dave O Block, this is all we got to type in. They even said in this news article, the day, a couple of days before Butter actually testified, they went and made this statement. It says right here. Um, Salon, I don't see it, y'all. But if y'all did catch my last video where it says Salone wasn't being offered, let's see if we can find it real quick. If y'all still are here with me, drop in the comment section below the word still here with you. Big O. Lies. Lie. Okay, there you go. Here go the part right here, y'all. Um, Dang, that was the same thing. Violent, no snitch code. Oh, here go right here. Sloan faces up to 30 years in prison in pending case in Cook County, but isn't being offered leniency, unlike another gang tied informant. So the state was going to give but a leniency, not the feds. The state was giving but a leniency on his pipe case. That's why Butter is not in jail right now, y'all. If Butter would have had a deal with the feds on this, they would have hit him with contempt of contempt of court. But since the state was giving him leniency on a state case, uh, they're the ones that is basically going to back out on that leniency. And he may be facing the barrel of full fledged sentencing on that case. Just to let you all know, they might not even take anything off the table just because of what he did. Um, and like I said before, this was a last opportunity to close the K.I. murder and Butter dropped the ball on it. So, as you all can see here, him catching that third pipe case, him actually talking to the state, well, the grand jury, a year after they said they didn't have enough evidence for the Vine murder is why the state was so eager to get butter up there on the stand and seeing as though that he didn't talk he got a bone to pick with the state not the feds so that's why the nigga still out here ripping and running uh no leniency will be on that gun case and i just want to say this what was it all for because if you ask me the man did this to save his name in the street but that name in the street has already been tarnished for you speaking to the feds in the first place so now you're risking jail time for nothing 
for a street code that nobody even go by no more, butter. This is what you call pure stupidity. You did all this telling. It got out there. You ruined your name for you to get up there on the stand to not tell no more in order for you to mess yourself up legally now. This nigga took a double lashing across the back. One from the street and one from the Fed. Not the Fed, but the state. Uh, everybody keeps saying, yeah, but a case may be weak. They may have found that pipe outside the car. But guess what? They don't drop shit until a couple of days before trial, y'all. They play what we call mind games. A lot of y'all never been through none of this. You know what I'm saying? So I don't expect y'all to know exactly how things be played in those court systems. But I've been through a lot of this before. A lot of my close homies been through this. I done seen close homies tail and all that, y'all. So with that being said, I'm not, this not my first rodeo. Like I said before, I'm not a blogger. I'm a journalist. All my stuff is researched, well researched. And everything that I'm showing y'all is documented. This is nothing off of speculation. This is all dated and documented. So with that being said, like I said before, don't forget to smash that like button. So the video with real information, black and white, can get be put to the top. And y'all want me to cover the YSL um trial last night i've been digging deep y'all digging deep and just to let y'all know i ain't gonna cover the ysl until in about a, a week because i really want to get invested into it before i get on here and start talking to y'all you know what i'm saying like these other bloggers do so with that being said man i'm gonna let y'all go in the big old gone man